Okay, so this video is going to be about the retiring of this wallet. I did um, my first review on it about three years ago. So after three years of daily driving it, I am finally putting this away. So this is the Slim 4 um, coin wallet. Right, so it's a bifold that uh, has you know, your standard cash carry, um, four slots for cards, right, and then you would have a magnetic pouch for coins. So I'm just going to put a few cards in here to make it a bit stiffer. So, uh, I'm just going to talk about things that I didn't like about it, things that worked really well, and you know, anything why it's getting retired, right? So, uh, the outer fabric, right, you can see all the scratches and things like that, but it, it's not torn or anything, it's not really worn out. It, it has gotten marked, you can call it patina of sorts, right? And aging marks, it's all perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it, the inside, what the same. Alright. There's a bit of dots. Who knows where that's from? Alright, so the, these cut slots, stacking them directly on top of each other, definitely allows it to be as small as possible. Right? Because if they were if they were staggered, it would have been you know, just a little bit longer and things like that. Or if you're standard, it would have been taller. So this directly um, overlapping slots, yeah, it works well. Um, I typically carry about five cards in each side, uh, credit cards embossed, uh, no issues. All right, cash compartment, no issues. All right, my biggest issue is to do with, okay, I should leave that in there, is to do with the coin compartment. So the coin compartment, um, Suppose I have three magnets in there. Okay, so one, two, three. Uh, and this side, there will be another three magnets. So, construction of this is that there is a fabric lining, right? There, and then there's your inner fabric. And what's holding these magnets is actually a piece of plastic in there. So, this is stiff if you can see that, right? This is stiff compared to like here, see? This is yeah, this is just fabric, but in this portion and this portion as well, see there, there, there's a piece of plas plastic in there, right? Uh, as a stiffener. So th this side is fine. Plastic goes from here, right, all the way down. So no issues. All perfectly fine. This side, however, has a lot of issues. So this plastic, you see, you can see the shape, right? It only runs over the top, and then there's another one on this side that runs down the side. But this is a really thin. No, no, it's actually gone. Probably somewhere fallen or something, right? That's my problem with it, right? This portion not being a single plastic has caused this to fall quite a long time ago, and you can see, I push it back up. Put a stapler in there. Right, what can I do? To keep this plastic up here at this edge. But even then, um, feeling it now is, you know, it's fallen a little bit again. Then, recently, another thing that happened was that if you look at this, right, you can clearly see that this is an outline of magnet. Nothing really there, and then this one here. Right? But this actually is two magnets yeah so that middle magnet has come off and now it's stuck um, so this doesn't close well enough anymore coin can quite easily slip out of there if jostled well enough yeah so that is the main reason why I'm retiring this and deciding okay it's about time that we move on.
it's been good. It just did not last as long as I expected, but it's fine. Three years is pretty long. I've used it every day for three years. I'll be moving on to this very large, huge wallet for now. Um, it's taller actually in terms of width, not that much of a difference. Right, but it is significantly fatter. But um, let's see, should I open it? Yeah, I think it's fine to open. Um, it's able to hold all the cards I need, but this is fully leather, fully handmade. Yeah, we will see how that goes. Thanks for watching.